Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the rotate path tool. The rotate path tool makes it very easy to make nice looking rotations. Consider for example this block, I want to rotate it. The normal way to do it, you select all these performers and you can use the rotation widget and lock it to 90 degrees or 180 degrees. Now if I wanted to do a rotation for 180 degrees and I did it this way, this is what it would look like. Everyone goes through the middle. Now that's not what we want. So I'll show you how the path rotate tool works. So let's just go ahead and undo that. Then we note that we're on set two. So the rotate path is going to happen between set one and set two. You must be on the last set after you want the rotation to happen. So let's select the rotate path tool. And you'll see that we have a box to put in the number of degrees that we want to rotate. That can be a positive number or a negative number. And when we're finished, you can select perform rotation. Now, what's important is that when you open up the rotate path tool, you can also use the rotate widget to perform the rotation. So I can just select the green widget and it will rotate around. And you can also hold the control button or the command button on the Mac to lock it to 45 degrees. So I lock it to 90 or I can lock it all the way to 180. You know, so we got to 180 degrees. So let's just hit perform rotation. There you have it, very nice rotation. Now let's see what that looks like in 3D. Very cool. Now one other thing that's really neat about this tool is that you can also move the performers after you have this rotation. So let's say we rotated it and we want to move this block. So let's move this block over a couple paces and down a couple paces. And you see you get the spiral pass happening here. Now let's see what that happens. You get the whole block rotating and moving at the same time. Very cool.